Fort Madison police say Kessner escaped from what used to be a critical care unit. They say there was no fence surrounding the building. Police say 25 year old Justin Kessner somehow got on the roof of the prison's former critical care unit sometime before 4 45 a.m. Authorities say Kessner made it to Weaver, Iowa, where he stole a car. He was located just south of Genesio, Illinois, and apprehended by Illinois State Police. It's very, very rare for us to have any escapes. Fred Scaletta with the Iowa Department of Corrections says they are investigating. He is in custody, and so there, there's no threat or. Uh, Security or concern to the public. Scaletta says the escape had nothing to do with the condition of the prison, which was scheduled to be replaced by the new Fort Madison prison more than a year ago. That prison has been an embarrassment to our state for some time, and more embarrassing is the colossal delay after delay with construction problems. Iowa Representative Kevin Kester says he will be a part of a team asking questions of the state to get the new prison open as soon as possible. So there is a comedy of errors that have piled one atop of another that do cost our taxpayers extra and have obviously been a, a problem to not only safety, but keeping prisoners in the prison. Scaletta says inmates have since been restricted to their living units, protocol for an escape. He says the warden staff will look into exactly how this happened and make sure it never happens again. Certainly you don't want anything like this to happen or expect it to happen, but sometimes uh, the things will happen and we got to take the steps we can to try to prevent it from happening in the future. Now, Kester, Kester is serving a 10-year sentence for theft. Live in the studio, Jason Rantala, KCCI 8 News, I was news leader.